Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and guess what? Ready or Not had its first DLC. A devastating storm has hit Los Suenos, home invasions are on the rise, and we have to clean up the rabble, as well as some new weapons and Gucci flage. The mission I decided to pursue this time goes by the name Narcos. Yes, Narcos, not Nacho, stop making me hungry. An informant working within the Los Locos cartel has had his cover blown and suspects have converged on his house. Your mission is to search for the informant and extract him ASAP. Screams have been heard coming from the address and officers are warned to expect the worst. The level consists of a maze of backyards, alleyways, and multiple houses with a long line of sights and multiple windows suspects can see out of that OSHA should really do something about. Also be warned, the cartel members seen from aerial photos appear to be extremely well armed with long rifles and body armor, so expect shit to hit the fan like Mariah Carey preparing to hit the Christmas charts. And in case you're wondering, I'm also running the No Mercy for Terrorist mod which loosens the rules of engagement, which I think is appropriate in this situation. And I'm leading the charge by myself once again because who doesn't like being the center of attention? I didn't mean like that. Attempt number one saw me utilize the Opti One for a change since I seem to have a habit of kicking in doors and experiencing the power of fuck around and find out. Lucky for me, there seems to be no bombs in sight, so I open the door and proceed into the agent's home, which is eerily quiet. No one seems to be at home, but a crude torture setup is on full display, and I don't think they came here ready for a tea party. Checking the ransacked house and finding the agent's secret room, the situation could likely be described as a bit of a pisser. So I head outside and. This time I use the Opti One to check and make sure I don't end up for higher lead count than a priest schooler's nose and make my way into the backyard. A quick sweep to the right and then back around to the left before someone unloads in my direction from inside the house. A flashbang out and I drop the suspect quicker than a hooker shown a $50 bill. And I continue to push up the left hand side of the map until I get into a firefight inside a house that leaves me both full of holes and a few pounds heavier. Attempt number two saw me taking out a guy on the right hand side before rattling a guy's brains with a flashbang. Despite clearing several houses, my end came at a cost of a badly thrown grenade and the Kurt Cobain special. Third time's a charm, right? Except if you happen to be a civilian. You know, if there's one thing a map consisting of a neighborhood and maze like alleyways is really good at, it's not staying alive. Attempt five, I think? Counting is hard. Saw me getting mag dumped through a window, and number six shows that the correct way to deal with any type of threat is destroying their cognitive ability. Myself included. I'd also like to point out that this throw was absolutely immaculate, however the wooden frame was having none of that shit, and apparently neither were these guys. As I played more and more and got familiar with the layout of the level, I developed a strategy to work the map as a solo player. However, like your mum on a Friday night, I went back and forth between both sides before ultimately getting screwed by a guy from behind. Given the area I need to cover, I decided to go back and bring some gas grenades. And I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. Oh well, it can't be that important. <laughs> You know, if this house is cleaned up, it actually wouldn't be so weird. Is that a fucking pig's head? What's the difference between me and an IT technician? Nothing. We both hate windows. With an emboldened pace, I stride through this house. Nothing moving, not a suspect, nor a mouse. A backyard of mazes in dire need of repair. Before kicking in the door, I use the Opti One to safely prepare. A failed flashbang through the door and I move inside. The suspect opens fire and only one of us survives. His buddy coming in hot ambushing me from the rear. I hope he enjoys the new arsehole that I tear. Moving up the left hand side of the level, clearing houses one by one, I'm surprised to find only civilians. Either that or no one has the balls to pull a gun. Moving counterclockwise back around to the right, there's no sign of suspects and I'm expecting a sudden fight. After opening the door and checking my free, the call of duty timing made me yell out, Fuck me. After an hour of this, you think I would have had this figured out by now, right? Hope you didn't put any money on it because you were wrong. Oh boy, I don't know if YouTube's gonna like that. Hey, stop resisting. Damn subscribe buttons, always trying to get away. Something that makes this level a little unique from others is that the sun is a genuine issue, and you have to be quite deliberate how you move around the map. For example, the left side is in the shade with the occasional flare, whereas if you move around the right and look to the left, your visibility is going to disappear quicker than seeing Hillary Clinton at a nudist beach. I would also like to say I'm not responsible for any actions that may befall anyone else while affected by the sun. Hey look, I completed the level and it's an E. Yeah, I suppose fratricide doesn't quite fall under protect and serve. So, let's ace this.
shredded vest and a few empty mags, I complete narcos with an S and no civilians were harmed in the making. I will not speak for the cartel members though, and neither will they. While the informant is alive, his condition isn't pretty and he's immediately made back to hospital, and I collect enough weaponry from the ground that makes even the average Texan feel inadequate. Thanks for watching, now I believe it's time to lock and load for the next one. See you next time. No! Ah, that was an S right there and I just shot the hostage in the head. Well done.